I really hate to do this. I'm only doing it because they make me. I'm not talking about the videos, although, as you see, you know, I just have a wonderful face. By the way, see this jacket here? I've worn this jacket every single video we made. It isn't even my jacket. It's the official video jacket, because after all, I value looking very good for you viewers. So as you can see, I'm trying not to talk about what I need to talk about. Browns, not quarterbacks, Browns prediction. Browns prediction. I've got to make a prediction. They want me to make a prediction. I got to, they play 16 games. I think last year I had them with four wins. I only missed by three. They had one. They got a rookie quarterback. They got a bunch of young, they'll probably have the youngest team in the league. They open with the Steelers. Then they go to Baltimore. I have to make a prediction. All right, here's a couple things I can say that, that are legitimate points before we get to the numbers. Number one, the first thing, the defense will be enormously better. Not just a little bit, not just sort of, much, much better. I'm not saying the best defense in the league, but they had among the worst defensive stats in several categories a year ago. That will not be the case this year. You know, it starts with the defensive coordinator, Greg Williams, who is an impact coach when you hire him. I think the other thing, yes, it's preseason, but the fact is the Browns only gave up one touchdown. The defense only gave up one touchdown in four preseason games. Last year, looking at them preseason, you can see these guys are going to get run all over the place. Yeah, I did a video a couple weeks ago. Will the Browns stop the run? Well, you go through the whole preseason. I'm not going to bury you in stats. The fact is the Browns did stop the run in the preseason. So the defense is better. Number two, I do think the offensive line will be better. Of course, that's not saying a ton since they led the league in giving up sacks, 66 last year. But they put a lot of money into it, bringing in Kevin Zeitler, J.C. Treater. You know, Joe Thomas, he's actually going to play in the games now. He's ready to go. Um, and I also think Joel Batonio being back, I hope he could stay healthy, is, is a key factor. I still am very concerned, by the way, right tackle. I didn't think Sean Coleman played as well as the Browns are trying to tell us. Nonetheless, the offensive line should be better. But you got a rookie quarterback, and I wish it felt better about the receivers. You know the receivers are an issue when going in to the week where you're preparing for your opening game where you want six receivers, and you decide, I'm bringing in three new ones. These other, get these, I mean, we, they've just changed half of the, as they call it, the receiver room. You know, they took Sammy Coates from Pittsburgh. They traded a six-round pick for him. They claimed two guys off waivers, Greg Davis, but a guy that I kind of like, Hassan Williams. And the fact is, is, is uh, Hugh Jackson, I was out there the other day, says, well, we're, we have to keep searching. The receivers they had drafted, particularly Jordan Payton and Rashard Higgins, had two problems. They weren't very big and they weren't very fast. And if you're not big and you're not fast, you don't get open. And so I do give the Browns credit for this. They at least cut those two guys. So a rookie quarterback searching for receivers, that bothers me a lot. It's getting to the point. The clock says I got to end this. Browns go 4-12. and 12.